Hey everyone, my name is Carolina. I'm a certified aromatherapist and a skincare formulator. So today I wanted to share with you guys the making of a water and oil emulsion. This is actually the first time I've ever made this kind of emulsion and there definitely was a few hiccups so that just means that there is room for improvement but I'm really happy with uh, the first outcome and I'll be formulating more of these in the future to improve my skills. So I used an all-natural emulsifier called lecithin, um, and the one that I use is derived from soy, but you can also get them derived from sunflower. So I first start off by sanitizing all of my equipment, and that is with ethanol alcohol. And then I do that first because um, it needs to dry before I can put any ingredients into the beakers. Now I'm just going through all the stuff that I need um, to make this emulsion. And here I put on my gloves so that I can get the ingredients out of my refrigerator. And I didn't record this, but I always wash my hands before I put my gloves on with hot water and soap. So now I'm going to organize my ingredients into phases. Um, there's three phases, a oil phase, water phase, and a cool down phase. And this just helps me stay organized and make sure I get everything that I need to. Now I am sanitizing the container the emulsion is going to go into and just getting ready. And here I'm setting up my water bath. It does take a while for it to heat up. So I usually just do a bit of reading while I'm waiting for it to heat up. So now I'm going to set up my scale. So I turn it on and um, start measuring out the oil phase ingredients and then um, the water phase ingredients. So now I'm going to go ahead and start heating the oil phase and the water phase up in the water bath. Um, and these are in separate beakers and we're going to heat them up to 70 degrees Celsius. 
and right now I'm checking the pH of the water phase and it needs to be adjusted so I am making a citric acid 10% solution and putting it into the water phase. Now I'm going to check the pH again and see where we're at. And I actually messed up in this part and I made it way too acidic. So I actually had to throw that out, make a new water phase, and then add only one drop of the citric acid solution. Also, sorry about my dog barking in the background. So now I've added one drop of citric acid solution to the new water phase and I'm testing the pH again. And since I'm happy with the pH that it's at, I go ahead and start heating it up. And this is where I add my thermometer into the beakers so that I can gauge the temperature. So now that they've reached 70 degrees Celsius, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to mix them together. And we're going to trickle the water phase into the oil phase. And so right now I'm going to add my magnetic stir and you can see it turning on right now and stirring. So little by little I'm going to be adding the water phase into the oil phase while it's stirring and while it's still in the hot water bath. This part requires a lot of patience. If you do it too quickly, then the emulsion might not form. So now that I've added all of the water phase into the oil phase, I'm going to go ahead and make a cool water bath and then put my emulsion in there. That way it can start cooling down and thickening up. the magnetic stir do all of the work and I'm gonna leave it on here in the cool water bath for a little over five minutes so once the emulsion starts cooling down it gets thicker and the color gets lighter so now I'm gonna set up my scale so I can add the cool down phase but first I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my emulsion is under 40 degrees Celsius So the things that you add in a cool down phase are ingredients like vitamin E, essential oils, botanical extracts, and heat sensitive oils. Once I've added all of the cool down phase, I put it back on the magnetic stir for it to thicken up a little bit more. And then now it's time to put it into its final container. Right here I'm being really careful not to get the magnetic stir into the jar, but of course eventually I do. So I have to <laughs> do it all over again, but eventually I get it into the container without the magnetic stir and we are good to go. So after this, I put the lid on it and put it into my refrigerator and I let it sit for 24 hours before I checked the consistency, which you're seeing right here. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it, especially since it's my first time making it. 
Um, it smells really good and it's definitely really moisturizing. Um, it does leave a pretty oily layer on your skin. So this would be best to use in the nighttime. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!